Hello friends, today we will learn about how to cite and add references. Citations and references plays an important role while writing a research paper. So let's move ahead and try to understand what is citation. Uh, we can say it is a specific source that is mentioned by author in the body of the paper. Now let me give an example. Whenever we write a research paper, we generally go through the past studies done in the area relevant to our topics by taking help of magazines, news articles, journals, internet sites, past research papers and many more. Now if you want to quote a speech or a specific statement or a finding from any past literature, then you need to give credit to the concerned authors and that process is known as citation. Moving ahead, what is reference? Now we can say a list of the sources that is cited by the author is known as reference and the references comes at the end of your paper. Now in the previous step during citation you have given the credit to the concerned author but in this stage during reference you have to give further details about the author and his research article at the end of your research paper and this is known as adding reference. Moving ahead. Styles of citations. Few examples. Now there are various numbers of styles I have given example of American Psychological Association, Model Language Association. Now style depends on the demand of journal. Whichever journal you are targeting to get your paper published, you have to follow the concern, structure, concern, demand of that paper. You can't choose the styles by your own. Okay, so we will be going through the example of American Psychological Association throughout this video. Moving ahead. How to cite the paper? Now this is the most important concern for making the video and we will understand how to cite the paper. Now you can do it either manually or with the help of online platforms, web programs such as Mendeley and Jotaro or you can also do it with the help of MS Word feature which is known as a reference feature but in this video I will restrict myself towards two points the first is adding reference with the help of Google Scholar and the second is adding in text citations and references with the help of online free web support so let's move ahead by taking the example of research paper and let's see how the citation and references are done Now I have taken the example of this paper, it is titled to be or not to be in social media, how brand loyalty is affected by social media. Now let's see the structure of this paper, you can see uh, the authors are Michelle, Mohammed, Reza and Mary, you can see it begins with abstract, then introduction and then literature review and then methods and findings and then it's move ahead with results and then discussions and implications and finally limitations and future research along with acknowledgements and at last references. Now this whole video is concerned about explaining the citation and references part. So we will be focusing toward this point references and citations. I have marked this statement just Let's read it. On average, consumers devote almost one third of their time to consumption of online social media. Lang, 2010. Now, these authors, these three authors, they have read this paper and they have given the credit to this researcher while mentioning the statement here. This is known as citation. Suppose if they would have not given the reference or they would have not given the uh, acknowledgement credit to this researcher, what would be the problem? The problem is known as plagiarism. You can't just copy the concept of any past researcher and present it as your concept. This is a illegal activity. This is known as a plagiarism. So better you give credit to the person from where you have taken the statement or from where you have taken the findings. 
that's why citation is required now here you can see there is limitation now in this sentence the author has just mentioned lang 2010 short name and the year in which the paper has been published the name title journal information is not given all these things are mentioned in the references part along with the name title journal name you can see here in the references part this is the reference part it is mentioned alphabetically and uh, here we can see lang b september 2010 ipsos otx study people spend more than half their day consuming media so this is the important of citation and references now let's study and uh, we'll know how it can be done one method is to do it manually you can do it manually like writing it lang 2010 and similarly in the given format as per the demand of the journal you can write lang b september 2010 ipsos otx study people spend more than half of their day consuming media but writing it is a cumbersome process now let's move to the citation process i will give you two methods how it can be done the first method is google scholar method just go to your browser and type google scholar google scholar and you will be directed toward a page google scholar i have opened already i have opened it now i want to cite the same paper which i have given here in the example suppose i am citing this same paper i have copied the title of this paper now moving to google scholar good copy paste now see the google scholar will show the details of this paper and we just need to take the citation from there it will be automatically done by google scholar see the paper has opened to be or not to be in social media how brand loyalty is affected by social media now you can see the information here this paper has been cited by 305 authors uh, related article you can see the related articles all nine versions of this paper now we are concerned with this site just click site and now you'll see the various styles format mla apa chicago harvard bancover and as per the requirement you can copy any one of them uh, we will go for apa style uh, i have just copied it and i will paste it in my required research paper suppose i am writing a research paper and at the last part of it i am just pasting the thing from google scholar see it's very easy it has been easily pasted here you don't have to write it manually and it will save your time now this was the first method in which i have explained you how to add the references now let's move to the second method uh, through the web support now there are various uh, website there are free websites which provides web support for citation i will go for cite this for me just note it down cite this for me it's already opened here i have already opened here see the features here you can cite from website journal articles books and more see uh, various uh, things you can cite book broadcast conference proceedings court case dictionary and all as per the demand as per the need so uh, you can create an account here uh, if you want to get the premium service you have to register yourself you have to pay the amount as per the requirement you can do that also so uh, we'll go for the free version and i will explain you how it can be done now suppose we want to cite a paper i will take the example of journal article we'll go for it and uh, i will take the example of same paper we have already copied it copied the title and i want to cite this paper i want to use the paper what they have find uh found and uh, i want to mention in my paper i have also the same kind of uh, interest writing interest so i want to cite this paper how to cite this paper see just the search box will come just paste the topic here the title this title will show the uh, paper this is the first paper itself just click this first paper 
it will take it automatically it has done all the things you don't have to fill all the details just click final step then then click add references so it would be automatically done you don't need to type it manually see it has been already developed by this web platform now there are three things given here copy and paste bibliography citation it speaks about the references part copy and paste in text citation it speaks about the in text citation you want to make and check for grammar you can uh, check if it, if there is any grammatical mistake in this so uh, generally it's not needed but you can go for it now let's go for copy and paste in text citation same word file i will open where i am writing the research paper and in the concerned body uh, body of the research paper i will paste this citation where, wherever i need it see how easily it has been pasted in the given format so you can easily do it without any cumbersome process and similarly just cross it out we will ask for joining the premium you can cross it out or as per the need you can join So uh, the second one is copy and paste bibliography citation. Suppose if you don't want to go to Google Scholar and you want to get the both feature like in-text citation and bibliography citation, you can copy the same and you can go in the reference part and paste the bibliography reference. See how easily it has been done. So that's all. You don't need to worry about citation and references of your paper. It will be automatically put in the given format, AP format. We have taken the example of AP format. That's all. If you have any query or any question or any doubt, you can post a comment and I will, surely I will reply to the comment. Thanks for watching it.